So we're here in uh, Rethimno in Crete and um, we're in right outside of the village uh, where my father was born and this little church behind us here uh, was uh, the place where I was baptized when I was six months old. Um, it's called Anasuvari. It's the it's the church dedicated to the Virgin Mary, and uh, there used to be behind it a, in, um, a small settlement from the 1700s. And I'm not actually sure when this church was built, but I'm assuming around that time, maybe a little bit earlier. We can go and, uh, and check it out. separates the altar, which is behind that, uh, that curtain there, uh, and the place where the um, parishioners uh, sit or stand in such a small church. But um, you're not allowed to go behind the altar screen. And always, in, in a Greek Orthodox church, to the left of the door to the altar is an icon that shows who the church was dedicated to. So here it is, the Virgin Mary. And then to the right, there is always an image of uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Something interesting also in Greek Orthodox churches are these little things here, these little silver plaques. These are called tamata, T-A-M-A-T-A, -A -A, tamata. And what they are, this one you can see it, it's got a, a leg. The one behind it has got some eyes. There's another leg. Then there's a, a young girl over here. These are offerings that people make. They're usually made of silver, uh, and they're offerings that people make as a dedication um, in the hopes that something will be healed or something will something um, uh, good will happen to somebody. So usually, for example, like the leg, it means that somebody's got some sort of an ailment with their leg or a problem with their leg, but they're asking the Virgin Mary or Jesus Christ to heal for them. And this actually has a very long ancient uh, history about it because in ancient times before Christianity um, in the uh, Asclepions in um, uh, the, the temples and the, the areas dedicated to Asclepius who was the god of healing people would leave votive offerings representing the body parts that they wanted to be to, have, to be healed and if you go to the um, Acropolis Museum for example in uh, in Athens you'll find one of these it's almost like a pillar where people would place something like this but they were usually made out of marble in the pillar and pray to the god Asclepius so really nothing new under the sun 2500 plus uh, years later mm -hmm. 